Is asking for more details following one very bizarre and deadly wreck on I-64. What was initially reported as a boulder killing a woman in her car has turned into metal flying through her windshield. News 4's Russell Kinsaw live at 5 from the area where all of this happened. And Russell, you're learning of a big roadblock in this case. Yeah, so let me tell you where I am right now. I'm uh, near South Vandevin, right there in I-64. The accident happened up there on the interstate. So the medical examiner tells me that they are using fingerprints to try to identify the woman killed in this bizarre, fatal accident. The woman was driving west on Interstate 6440 between Grand and Vandeventer. I spoke with other people who've driven that stretch about the accident, including Tunde Adamayo. There are a lot of things that kind of but uh, cascade into that event happening. Very, very sad. But there should be better work done in order to keep the streets safe. According to police, a piece of metal flew through the windshield of the woman's Mercedes-Benz E350 and struck her. At this point, police aren't sure, but one likely scenario is that the piece of metal fell off the back of a truck. Vasant Sathish spoke with News 4 about that. That's terrible. And second is probably we would need to secure, metal, secure stuff to trucks better. There are laws requiring truck drivers to make sure nothing falls off the back of their truck and hurts another driver. Peter Kurdock is with an organization called Advocates for Highway and Auto Safety. Our truck drivers, or all drivers, of course, motor vehicles, are required to make sure their load is secure before they leave uh, where they've picked up the load and throughout the trip as well. At this point, police aren't giving details about the piece of metal, and they don't know if it may have been just debris on the road that got kicked up when a car drove over it. But Kurdock says drivers need to be on alert when on the road. The most important thing a driver can do, um, one of the most important things they can certainly do to stay safe is to stay focused on the driving task. Last year, nearly 43,000 yes, people were killed in vehicle crashes in the United States. That's a 10% increase over 2020. Live in Midtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4.